I've helped hundreds of businesses rank on Google Maps, but something's been happening. It's been a bit strange recently. Businesses that were ranking, doing really well, have just vanished. Almost like a magician's act that one minute they're there, the next minute it's gone. So I decided to document everything that I discovered and I put it on this board here. And the idea is to try and work out what exactly is going on. So in this video, I'm going to reveal the seven silent killers that could erase your business overnight on Google. Because if your business disappears, it's a bit like Google coming to your shop, closing the door, locking it, putting the close sign on, taking your telephone number away, and also getting rid of your website. It's pretty impactful on your business. Oh, and then of course, they're rolling out the red carpet for your competitors. And the biggest reason for businesses vanishing well, number seven is a disappearing act that was so lethal that Google had to act fast. More on that in a moment. So disappearing act number one. And I discovered this when I was working with a rental property company and they had registered their business many, many years earlier. So they had authority. They'd been around for some time and they'd been ranking quite well. But it's really weird because suddenly they started to lose ground in the rankings and then overnight they just vanished. Then I discovered the issue was that the category they had chosen wasn't that relevant to their business because primary categories get updated all the time by Google and years had rolled by and actually all the competition was on a much more appropriate primary category than they were. And so that's why they were falling down the pages. They have forgotten to update their latest categories. And so therefore they missed out. So primary categories is one of the biggest ranking factors Google has on local search. So when was the last time you checked yours? And so that's when I realized disappearing act number one is using the correct primary category. So disappearing act number two is probably only obvious if you're already mapping how your rankings work. So if you're using Locarlo, Local Falcon, uh, Local Viking, you'll know that they show these maps. And what these maps do is they show you that if I stood outside your business, where would I rank? If I stood a mile down the road from your business, where would I rank? Can you get this kind of ranking map that shows like a heat map of where you rank depending on where you are locally? What was discovered by several people at the same time was that an update came through where if your business was open, then the opening hours on your business would rank you, but when it was closed, you wouldn't rank at all. Now that's quite a dramatic change because if your business closes at five o'clock, and your competitors open until six o'clock, there's an hour where they're ranking in the top five and you're not even showing at all. And this became quite a crucial way of making sure that your hours, one, are absolutely as good as your competition, but secondly, people started to think, well then, why not open 24 hours? Now, is that a great idea? Well, I'd say not, because if you open 24 hours and you can justify 24 hours and you can take customers and phone calls, then maybe that would make sense. But if a customer turns up at your place, your business at three in the morning and no one's there, well, then that's going to send back negative signals. So an interesting way, but that's disappearing act number two, is you're disappearing because you're actually not showing because you're closed. Now for disappearing act number three, it comes down to really something I learned when I was doing web design. So back in the 90s, I was designing websites. I remember I was doing this fancy dress costume party shop and there was all sorts of outfits in there. And as I was working on their website, they kept being pestered by local SEOs or SEOs in general, asking that could they optimize their website for them. So they went ahead eventually with one of these, these companies that promised that they could rank them top in Google, rank them top in all the search engines. And they asked my advice and I said, I don't know if you can promise that type of thing. It's not easy to do. Anyway, they went ahead, they paid their money and the business promised them, this SEO business promised that they would be number one the following day. I was like, how on earth could that possibly happen? Well, I'll tell you how they did it. What they did is they took a search term that is so long tailed that no one would even think about searching for it. In fact, I remember they put some like long brown cowboy boots for line dancing and they said, they'll make it number one. And the following morning they did an article and it was number one. Number one for a keyword phrase that no one ever searches for. So what do we learn from this? I realized that keywords is all very well ranking for them, but it has to be keywords that people are actually using, your customers are using. I realized that you could be number one for a keyword that has zero traffic. 
you could be number five for a keyword that has a thousand traffic. Which one's worth more? So when you think in terms of your keywords and where you rank, are they actually search terms that your customers are using for your business? So it's pretty simple really. You might be visible for keywords that don't exist. You might be invisible for keywords that do exist. But it's worth understanding what keywords your customers are searching for. Because if you don't, you'll become invisible even though you perhaps show number one. Now disappearing act number four is pretty straightforward. To cut to the chase, Google is buggy. Uh, they release things that have bugs. And from time to time, you might just find you disappear. And then if you give it a bit more time, you reappear. Why? Because when Google does updates, sometimes the algorithm and the changes in the algorithm can affect where you appear. So generally, give something a day or two and check again, and you'll find that the glitches and the bugs generally get sorted out or the updates come through. So years of experience has taught me never to panic too much if your business disappears. And that's really disappearing act number four. Google isn't 100% bug free. So disappearing act number five is probably you could say the daddy of them all. And it's something I discovered and it's not that pleasant. Overnight, no warning, in bright red letters, suspension. And it's a scary sight to see. I mean, what on earth has happened? What have I done? And what makes it 10 times worse is that Google gives you no indication as to what it's caused by. But when you dig a bit deeper, it's nearly always just a few things. And I put together a suspension toolkit that will cover those things and it's easy to follow. And it'll tell you also how to get a suspension lifted. So if you want to know how to do that, there's a link down below and that suspension toolkit I normally charge for, but at the moment, because you're a member, because you're a subscriber, you can get it for free. But what causes these types of things? Well, it's normally something is violating the Google guidelines. Is it a PO box? Have you been changing your categories too many times? Have you registered your business at too many addresses at the same time? Have you changed your phone number too often? There's normally a few things, but often I find it's a duplicated profile is often the course. So disappearing act number five is know how to avoid suspensions if you want to appear on Google for some time. Now disappearing act number six is related to number five, because when you get reinstated, when you're business now is verified again, the suspension's been lifted, you might find you're still not appearing. In fact, I was working with a client recently and they had a suspension lifted, everything was good, they were doing everything they can to get ranking, they were getting reviews in, they were adding photos and videos, they were doing everything you could to optimize their business, but they were still really not appearing. They were still like outside the top 20 in the results. So why were they not appearing? Why were they still vanished? Well, it's down to the fact that it does take some time for Google to build that confidence and that trust that you can then reestablish that authority that you had before. Now, it's not to say it can't happen, but I would say from my experience, it's at least three months before you start to see the business get to where it should be. So if you've turned invisible, but you had a suspension three months ago or so, then that may well be the reason. So in effect, you've served a probation period and Google's now building its trust again. So disappearing act number six is just make sure you get clear of your suspension. Now disappearing act number seven is really concerning. In fact, it's so concerning I reported it to Google. And supposedly Google is looking at it and they're claiming they fixed it. And it's all about where your business pin is in Google. Because when you register your business with Google, you then can move the pin as to exactly where your shop, your service is based. And even if it's not publicly showing, it still affects your rankings. Now, if someone took ownership of your business and it is open to being claimed, they could potentially suggest the pins moved. And if Google accepts that, and bearing in mind Google uses a lot of robots and algorithms to accept things, if Google accepts it, overnight your business could be invisible because the area where it's meant to be ranking has been moved. And if it's been moved several miles, you won't rank at all. So disappearing act number seven is pin hijacking. And it is such an important thing to understand that actually I put a video together for you that'll explain exactly what they're doing, but it also gives you the very tools you need to stop it happening to your business. So watch this video next and you'll then 
be in the clear.